Around 133 packages have been released from February 8 to 14. As always, I introduce you to the 10 most popular packages in terms of likes. Among those we get a package enabling interactive page flip transitions, a UI kit to easily implement the UI trend glass morphism, an expandable page view widget that adjusts its height to the currently displayed page, and 7 more useful packages that made it into the top 10 of the week. Welcome to SynTechOps, my name is Jay and this channel is all about programming. If this sounds interesting to you, subscribe to the channel and now let's get started with the latest package releases. Page transitions are very easy to implement in Flutter. I demonstrated this in a past video where I implemented swipeable pages with the page view widget and a bottom navigation bar that simultaneously adapts to the page change. The first package of the week provides a similar widget to the page view widget, but with the added ability of being expandable. With expandable page view, you get a page view widget adjusting its height to the currently displayed page. The next package might be interesting for those of you developing for macOS and looking for a way to better control the window. The package Desktop Window Utils gives you more control over the windows, their properties and toolbar or title bars. You can programmatically set the frame and screen size, minimize and close the window, bring back the current window, use the toolbar instead of a title bar, remove the toolbar or title bar divider and more features are planned. On week 52 I introduced you to the mocking library Mocktail, which simplifies mocking with null safety. The package has steadily grown in popularity. The next package called Mocktail Image Network is using Mocktail and allows you to mock image network in your widget tests. If you need to control the torch or flash of the device with torch controller, you get access to native resources to toggle the flashlight and to natively check the torch status and more. There are lots of different ways of authentication methods used to secure modern systems. The package JWTIO allows you to decode, verify and generate so-called JSON web tokens for token-based authentication. JSON Web Tokens are an open industry standard for representing claims securely between two parties. This type of authentication enables users to enter their credentials once and receive a unique encrypted string of random characters in exchange. You can then use the token to access protected systems instead of entering your credentials all over again. This digital token proves that you already have access permission. Use cases of token-based authentication include RESTful APIs that are used by multiple frameworks and clients. Do you need a data structure of branches and nodes that is built up like a tree? Then check out array to tree to convert a plain array into any multi-level tree. Just pass your list to the build static tree function of the array to tree class and get your tree structure. Who hasn't experienced it? You take a little 9 gig break and before you know it a lot of time has passed that you have used unproductively. Apps like 9 gig or also Facebook and Instagram make it very easy to get new and interesting content with little effort. All you have to do as a user is to swipe along the feed and scroll from one post to the next. A never ending list of funny and interesting content. If you also want to implement a never ending list in your app project, check out the package Very Good Infinite List, providing you an infinite list widget that lazily loads new content while scrolling down the feed. Next up, another very nice animation package. The number 3 of the week is called Page Flip Builder and offers a custom Flutter widget that enables interactive page flip transitions. You can use this to flip images, cards or widgets of any size. Features are an interactive flip transition using drag gestures for forward and reverse flipping, a fling animation to complete the transition on drag release, you can flip pages programmatically via callbacks, you can flip around horizontally and vertically, it works on widgets of any size and you can even customize the duration, tilt or scale of the flip animation. 
If you are a fan of the new UI trend called Glassmorphism, then you definitely like the next package. Number two of the week is called GlassKit and contains widgets to implement Glassmorphism in Flutter apps. The implementation seems to be very easy. You can create a glass container by using the clear glass or frosted glass constructor of the glass container class and provide the desired height and width and a child and you're good to go. If you want to make it even more unique, you can customize the glass container by providing a gradient, border gradient, blur and many other properties are available. And here we come to the number one of the week with modest 11 likes, the package validator less provides means to validate text inputs. You can use the methods of the validator less class to apply different types of validations and then pass it to the validator attribute of a text form field widget. And you can also use multiple validations at once. If you want to learn more about validation, input fields and how to create full featured forms, check out my tutorial on the Flutter Form Builder package. As always, the links to the mentioned packages and further information can be found in the video description. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I invite you to do so. More interesting content will follow. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a wonderful week and see you soon.